Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Ted Deutsch of Florida. He's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He says he does not want Attorney General Barr's, quote, spark notes. He wants to see the whole report. So your committee chairman, Nadler, said it is unlikely they are going to meet the April 2nd deadline. The DOJ will meet the April 2nd deadline to see the full unredacted report. What is the next step? Well, uh, thanks, Katie, for having me. The, the next step is uh, to first ask why not. This, is, this shouldn't be that difficult. We had a unanimous vote in the House uh, to deliver the entire Mueller report. The president himself has said that he would be fine with uh, the delivery of the Mueller report. We shouldn't have to rely on a summary by the guy who auditioned for the part of attorney general by questioning Mueller's investigation. Uh, we ought to see the entire report and all of the all of the evidence. That's the job that we have to do in order to provide oversight of this administration. And the and the the bar team ought to comply. Do you think there should be a subpoena for the report? Yeah, absolutely. We, this, is, this isn't that hard. We've got this, this report we now know is hundreds of pages long. And I understand the way the president has characterized this. But if you take a step back, remember where we are. The result of this investigation is, and, and I've been saying this for months, if nothing else happened, we knew that, that the people closest to the president during the campaign and after he was elected, uh, that half a dozen of them have gone to jail or are on their way to jail. We know that uh, we've uncovered lots of uh, other information. And we ha when it comes to the issue of obstruction of justice, even the attorney general told us that that after completing this lengthy two-year investigation, the attorney general took two days to decide something that Mueller himself couldn't decide, which is that the president shouldn't be exonerated on the charges of obstruction of justice. We need to see the full report. Well, he we need also to use did every means to get, get a heads up, according to our own NBC News reporting, about Mueller not coming to a decision on obstruction, that it would be an open question in the final report. Uh, but do you believe that William Barr was, was hired specifically, nominated specifically by the president to write a report like we saw released on Sunday? I, I don't know, and I don't know why we should have to speculate on any of this. The, the Mueller completed his report. It's now finished and should be delivered to the House of Representatives for us to do our work. And if they won't do it, it just looks like there's something that, that they don't want us to see. We have said all along that the American people just simply need to understand what he uncovered here. That's what we're trying to get to. And he ought to, he ought to do it and he ought to comply with our request. It doesn't seem that difficult for him to take this report, uh, to make the copies necessary and to send them up to Capitol Hill so that on behalf of the American people, we can explore everything that was uncovered in a two year investigation instead of relying on the attorney general who had a couple of days to conduct his own review and give us a summary. Since Robert Mueller didn't make a determination one way or the other, according to William Barr's summary, on the issue of obstruction. I don't know what we or you or anyone will see in the report when it comes to the evidence on either side of whether the president obstructed justice. Uh, but if it does leave it open, it does not uh, indicate who's going to make that decision. Do you think that you need to see Robert Mueller in front of your committee to, to ask him that question directly? Yeah, ultimately, especially if the attorney general continues to block delivery of the report, we need to find out what was in it. And, and if that entails uh, having Robert Mueller uh, ex explain it to us, then, then certainly that's something that we're going to have to consider. But just remember, Katie, we've got the issue of obstruction of justice where there was no conclusion. And on Russia, let's be clear, we have a responsibility there's a responsibility in judiciary that I serve on to look at everything that went into obstruction. I also serve on foreign affairs. This is not just a question of what happened in the 2016 campaign. It is a question of the behavior of the president even today, why it is that he continues to do things that, that seem to satisfy the Russians. Why does he continue to attack our NATO allies? Why does he weaken sanctions? Why will the White House not deliver any information about the secret talks that the president had with Vladimir? Putin in Helsinki 
following which he then turned around and announced that we were going to be withdrawing from Syria, which also aids Russia. There's so much in this report that can help us do our jobs on behalf of the American people, and this stonewalling to prevent us to do it well, uh, is just not acceptable. When you get the report, what is, what is the, the next step? What's the remedy for all the questions that you have, say say it does lay out that the president um, has a, an affinity towards Russia, and say it's because of a business deal. I don't know what is in that report, but but say there are things that that that, that make you uncomfortable in there. What is the remedy? Nancy Pelosi has already ruled out impeachment. Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what what remedy there is. The goal is to is to to provide facts for the American people. Katie, if the remedy is f to simply explain to the American people what it is that Robert Mueller uncovered in two years of an investigation, I trust the American people well enough to hand that information over to them and to let them figure out uh, what kinds of conclusions they should draw. All of that is happening at the same time, by the way, that the president uh, while he, he, he immediately pivots away from the Mueller report, uh, the president then pivots to this discussion that he has where he wants to take access to health care away from tens of millions of Americans. These are all the kinds of things that people look at this president, look at the decisions he, make, he makes, wonders why he makes them, and whether it's trying to repeal the Affordable Care Act and do real damage to more than 50 million people with pre-existing conditions, or taking action that seemed to play right into Vladimir Putin's hands, I think it's not too much to ask uh, to get every piece of information we have that might shed some light into why the president makes these decisions when they seem so contrary to what the American people need and want. Congressman Ted Deutsch of Florida. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.